But yeah, so basically this matchup is going to be So basically this matchup is going to be like 5-5 five, five, um because the only the only reason why I say it's 5-5 five, five because as soon as Zangief gets in, it's like over. Mm -hmm. But the thing about what Itabashi Zangief does, he picks Ultra 1, which is questionable. I think Ultra 2 does better in DJ in this matchup. Like, so like, it's really hard. We have a really good DJ player. We have the Nut, but we haven't really been playing him for a while. Okay. So, like, when you don't, like, play for a while, especially with the new buffs in Ultra. Right. Like, you got to get more experience but with it. I'm out of here. I got to go. All right. You guys see you, man. You see guys. You. See you tomorrow? Yes, definitely. You guys, enjoy final round. Enjoy this the rest of the tournament. Final round's going to be crazy. No, this is the deepest final round. This is, this is the most threatening final <laughs> round of is, all time. No, yo, nobody wants to look at their brackets, man. <laughs> it's crazy, man. This final round is really retarded. So, peace, guys. Enjoy. Okay. All right. Um. Hey, Will. Will. You gonna go? Compensate? Okay. Oh, man. This is really, really hype. Shoutouts to all. Uh, this is like Black Eye for pretending to keep out from Marvel. Oh, wow. But back to the matchup anyway. Like I said. Nice. Nice keeping the neutral on. The nut does have a, a really, really good DJ. Yeah, she just played like he's not. She, I think he's a little bit better than the nut, maybe. But the nut's got like too. But like um, his so his rush down, I think, is better than the nut. But I'll probably say Nut has better defense than um um what's his name? Nishi DJ, a Kanishian DJ. So the Nut has the better defense, but he uh Kanishi DJ definitely has the better rush defense. Yeah. DJ is is not as bad as people think. People just wanna believe he's that bad. DJ is not as bad as everybody thinks he is. He he's like he just blows from the blow. DJ's mid tier. And that's all that's and that's my opinion. I think people are just really really not there great with DJ. DJ's not great, don't get me wrong, he's not great, but he's not terrible. Yeah, he's very doable. Both of you DJ and Rose are the same tier. I can see how my mochi would think that, but you know. They play similar. Yeah, but but Rose, Rose has a better bat dash. We all know that. Rose has a better, Rose has a more useful ultra than DJ. And, and like DJ so bad, this man beats like beats like all the shotos. Like his vortex on all the shotos, except for like I guess you could say I guess Akuma and Kim, but like. That, I mean, I don't know. It's not that bad, man. DJ, DJ's okay. You leave it at that. This matchup is bad for Zeki. guys very solid set here. this is really tough for Zangief to get in every time
What's up, excited beast? <laughs> You're like, who the fuck is this guy? Not even that, man. You know I'm mad. I'm not in grand finals. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. He, excited beast is still a little salty about salt. how he did in the tournament. Sorry. Yeah, man. It's cool. It is. I just, I just hate it. I didn't have it on. I'm just kind of mad I had an off day. Like, when it happens, everybody man. comes out. I, I played good uh, earlier in the tournament. And then after I played Itabashi, I just kind of fell off. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't get up. I won a few rounds. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah. It is that, you know, I I feel like I could have beat certain people. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep it real. Like, they, some people really got close to me. And I was really salty. Hey, run it back. Why you not Um, I actually knew that he He beat me. Oh, OK. But, like, uh, I ran it back. Oh, man, I was doing so yeah. well. I, I beat I, that download was real. I beat Lionheart in tournament. He was pretty salty. He wants to money match me. But uh, they're closing the venue, so we're going to do it at the venue. Who are you beating with? Uh, Rose. Uh, Rose versus Sagat is, you know, hard matchup for Sagat. And then he picked Evil Ryu, and uh, he missed a couple things, so. It's still bad. It's still bad. Yeah. It's still bad. So, anyway, uh, shout out to Nice One in the chat. Um, yeah. Oh, Maurice is in the chat? Yep, Maurice. This is Ivan. Right. This is Ivan News right here. Man. All right, nice one. I'm surprised you didn't come out. To, I'm surprised you wasn't here. Yeah. I want to know why you wasn't here. Where's Alabama? That's what you want he said he beat Lionheart, not Ryanheart. No, hell no. I, <laughs> I cannot beat that guy. Ooh, very nice standing roundhouse. So Itabashi is adapting here uh you know it seems like a very frustrating matchup for zangief but it is itabashi is good at these frustrating matchups uh, in casuals he's, today he's, he's good playing at taking nothing. risks too he, yeah risks sure. really great. they're, they're good calculated risks. risks yeah they really calculated risks that's like, like right there like that jump in fierce so like he knew at that point he wasn't gonna get up, up, up kicked and that that would win it for him so. all right the real question is is he better than snake eyes i was gonna ask him that i'm I not even gonna lie i, I don't I, think so i'm gonna be real i don't think so i think snake eyes neutral is much stronger i think they got way different styles i think itabashi's reads are just like crazy yeah snake but eyes neutral is, is crazy too. yeah but he gets a lot of retarded reads remember he did that evil those reads yeah i don't know yeah. man it, it's tough they, they play so differently they see the character in in different ways you know Oh, and then we have to we have to throw in after dark. Was it Arthur Arth Death? Oh, that's the able player. I think. Uh, after Death. Hey, I can play that. Or is he able? Yeah. Yeah, but like that's the question. Is he better than Snake Eyes? Yeah. I, I'll ask him. He'll be. <laughs> it'll be interesting to see what no, his response is. I want. I want to. I want to hear. His, I want to have this on commentary when we answer. So like, hey, let's interview you. Really <laughs> it actually speaks English. So. You know. Oh, really? So I get to get that real live answer. I mean, answer. not not like extremely well, but pretty but he really knows, well. But he yeah. knows. He knows who's better than who. <laughs> yeah, he, he knows that. that. He knows. Isn't yeah. like very I'm, nice up kicks. I'm really hoping he resets this so we can have more um, more street fighter. Yeah. I, sorry, we're kind of not really commentating on the actual match going on. I mean. I figure most people watching the stream at this point understand yes, yeah. how this matchup goes. It's it's a lot of fireball zoning. Zangief's gonna try. And it's a really jump. lame matchup. Yeah, yeah. So we're trying to say like a lame matchup, but like it makes it interesting because Zangief has to like he's actually fighting with Zangief. He's not actually just trying like he got he's being a wall walking forward, but he's like doing yeah. all these jumps at different angles yeah. and jumping different buttons. I mean that, that was an interesting read there on the on the uh, Sobat kick from uh, Kita Senju. Yeah, but did you see did you see him do the jumpy little axe little axe kick out the air with um DJ the anti air? That was a pretty nice. One. Yeah, and then uh, Itabashi comboed into a lariat, which was a very interesting choice instead of green hand. So he knocks down. Yeah, no, it, it's I think it's good for his style to get knocked down. Oh, if he would have jumped forward, that would yeah. be a problem. Yeah, for sure. But like, he would just do the jumping to get him like to keep the mind game going. Yeah, I mean, Itabashi has super. You know what that means? Red focus. Oh yeah. He's, he's fishing for it. Oh, there we go. Oh, right there. Yep, right there. Go. Is he gonna do it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Worth it. I don't he's know. He's dead. Kill? This, this should kill. Uh, let's it see. It better kill. Ha. Oh damn, this killed a lot. Yeah. Shut up. Oh. oh. Wake up, neutral jump. Wow. Ooh. Nice he, punch. he missed the link. That's what happened. He yeah. missed the link because he yeah. would have killed him. Yeah. All right. So this is getting pretty interesting, actually. So still one one. Kidabashi is adapting pretty well. Um, let's see if Kuda Senju can adapt back. Oh yeah, no doubt. Very, okay, very nice anti air. Uh, DJ is one of the few characters that has a legitimate anti air with like a low sweep move like that. Yeah. And that was a good read by Itabashi. Like um, I was telling him, I, I play um, honestly. Like, I know we're not about the matchup, but this matchup is like, really, really lame. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sonic boom, Sonic boom, just like watching guys. Yeah, yeah. Sonic boom, Sonic I mean, boom, like oh, it, max out. Yeah, I mean, 
DJ, he, he's, he's a little tricky, but uh, yeah, for the most part, like, he's, he's going to be throwing those max outs, man. Oh, yeah, like, the, the nut uh, the nut didn't go to Gwinnett Brawl. If the nut went with the Gwinnett Brawl, I think he could have probably beat him in a mirror. I think so? Yeah. Like, it, it, it's one thing about mirror, mirror matches are always whack. Yeah, it's, it's about who can guess better and who knows their it, own it, character it, better. And a lot of times, it's not about who's the better player. I, I guess I could see that. Oh, yeah. It's like, we all know what we other can do. We both, even if we're, even if we're at different, I, I feel like even if you're at a different level, like, it's another level of mind games that still goes with the fact of the mirror match. Yeah, for sure. Like, I'm really bad at Bison Mirrors, and I actually hate playing Bison Mirrors. Like, I'll play Rose Mirrors. I think those are like, fun, but not Bison Mirrors. Like, even when, like, last year, I played against Mochi, like, we went even, but, like, that don't That's mean good. I'm better than him. No, nah, that ain't it. true. We gotta be honest. And yeah, I, I, I think Mochi uh, played a set against uh, Chris, and they both went about even, too. Like, um, like, you know, like, I don't really, I don't win tournaments here. Like, I get third a lot. A lot. <laughs> third place warrior. Third, second, man. Like, it's oh, my God. Three grabs in a row of Ada Bossy. We, we Mental. have to. Mentally. This is what I'm talking about. This is the mind game. Oh, I'm my about. God. Yeah. The conditioning. Did you see how he conditioned I'll, I'll him to just walk I'll, up? Yeah. And he gets a free chip. Well, I'll, I'll I don't want to Yeah. I didn't lose. Why not? But, oh, and he got hit because he did green hand. I don't know if Japanese players really have the mentality of just doing wake up ultra. Like, Yo. To, that would actually uh, make him better sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Real but talk. Did, like, did you see when Daigo lost to Wake Up Ultra against Kazunoko? Oh, yeah. that was hilarious, dude. Like, you gotta do he it. He was like, pissed. He had no options left. He was like, okay, I'm just gonna go dude, for it. Dude, it's Kazunoko, man. I, I think Kazunoko's the exception. He goes fucking nuts. <laughs> he's, so, he's so smart, man. Nah, he, he, no, he, he's good, obviously, but he holds forward. <laughs> That's for sure. All right. Zangi slowly working his way in there with the jump fierce, very good normal. Oh, uh, just a shout out, just like just throwing that out. Hey, um, nice one. Uh, is me and Nat Negro still doing our money match? I hope so. Ooh, Mag Negro. Yeah, we're still doing Freeze our money way. match. I'm not freezeway. I'm not yeah. calling him out or anything. I'm just hoping we're still doing our money match. That'd be cool. I, I got I got my dub in my pocket. You know, dude, let, let me bring it out on screen <laughs> for you guys. Oh let, shit. Let me bring it out on screen because <laughs> there you, you ain't no backing camera? down from this. Oh, uh, he wants video evidence. Like this ain't no backing he down. Want, he doesn't want a fanatic situation. Yo. Yo, nice, I nice one. Money. Nice Pay one. <laughs> nice one. I got my money, dog. He, he's, nice. He I does have the dollar bill. I, I got my money. Like, he has a twenty dollar bill. We need to run this. Me and Matt Nero. What time or what day you want to run this? We run it Saturday. We run it Friday. Anytime you want to do it. I'm nice, ready, dog. Nice jump forward, fierce, like he just said. No character. No switch of characters. Atlanta versus Ken. All right. Yeah. Just throwing it out there, you know. I, I got my cash I, on I deck. I hear you, man. But this is the place to, to call people out. That's for sure. Oh man, I'm not. Look, look, I, I, <laughs> they, they say anything good. I, I, I like challenging people for money because I want to see how they level, how they do, and get a high pitch situation. Nah, I understand. Like uh, when I played Air in a money match, it came down to the very last round. But it definitely makes you play better, I think, when you know there's something on the line. Oh yeah, that's why I like. Uh, because personally, I do a lot. Of, I do. I do really well at majors. Yeah. Like something like I, I, I mean, lose, I mean, like man, I want to. I can't win at my locals, man. They never get first I, I went, place. I went one and two in Street Fighter last like, year. At Final like, Rounds, so I can't pulls? really. Like, yeah, I made out of pools. How you made out of pools? Yeah, I made out of pools, man. I did. Ooh, wake up with that shit. So he knew that Itabashi was either going for a read or that was not a safe setup. So that was a very good yo, risk. Yo, yo, anybody has money on me versus uh, Matt Negro? We can do side yeah. bets. Yeah. I bet's on Excited Beast, the Poonko Killer himself. Yeah. We just gotta throw that out there. That will forever live in infamy. Is there a video of that? Yeah. Okay. Dude. Oh, like, you know, there's two videos. We, we got one when I was playing them in two the room on Cafe D screen. We put on the uh -huh. Cafe D screen now when we came back like a year ago. Damn. Like, like over a year ago, and then like, I beat him nice again. I beat him 56 to 47. 56 to 47. Mm -hmm. Damn, the and, and like, yeah, but like people like, oh no, you didn't do that. You didn't do this. No, I have like one of the best records against to like Japanese players. Here. Hey, because yeah, one, they don't know how to play. They don't know how to play. <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> wow. I mean, I'm real like, wow. like, it's easy. Like, oh my god, the space can. Wow. Hold on, why are we talking about it? Let's throw. Let me throw this out for you. Let help me out with this. Perfect. Like, like you, like this. Is what I have a problem here about <laughs> about in-state warriors. I'm just, I'm talking about in-state okay. warriors. Okay. People, people that don't can, travel. All right. Like all right. people who can beat people just because you play them all the time. Just like so what? But I see the same people get body at majors because they don't know how to play people they never played before. All right. Yeah. That, but, that's that's a skill. And like, oh. Dog, if we play every day, all day, of course you should be able to beat me. I'll be worried if you can't beat me sometime. That, that happens. Like, uh, a lot of the people I play in Miami, like, I, I'm i playing against the person, not the character, because I know Ooh. what the person's tendencies are. Yeah, so. like, it's like, like, Mike yeah. Ross is a good text. They <laughs> yeah. play each other all the time. Does, does that mean 
Probably at, 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 at one point, time. at one point in time, Microsoft was way better than Gutex. But guess what? Gutex can still beat him. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know how good Gutex is now, honestly. Like, I don't really watch the cross counter much. But uh, my cross is. I mean, I think he's proven at this point he's still like good when he wants to be. Man, but, this man can come out and he wants to play. He wants to play. It's not pick yeah. like nonsense characters. Nice with punish on that. He buffered that. That was nice on the green hand. That was that was a quick reaction right there. All right, so now both uh, players are in losers bracket. If uh, <laughs> yeah, mentioning that after the first game happened, but uh, you know, like oh, this is you know like people get serious things on bad have a really bad tendency. They're like, oh, B, she just doing it. You oh know, man, I, he's I, call, I played a Japanese. I'm calling, calling everybody out because I played, <laughs> I played a Japanese player today. You know, he told me yeah. he says, man, like. You know what you're doing. Ooh, the Japanese. The Japanese gave me credit, but my Dude, own friends, my, you. my own friends and people, <laughs> beast man. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, but they don't know you, beast. But they played me. I played him in a long set today, and he was it, like, man, like. It, it's I funny. Like, from. I think every scene has those couple of people that don't really get the respect that they deserve. So, like in Miami, uh, or sorry, South Florida, uh, there's this guy named Dylan. He plays Zangief. He's really read heavy, and. People always say he's bad because he goes super fucking YOLO all the time, but he beats like really, really good people, and he got like, uh, I want to say like 12th at final round one year, and he's really good, but he doesn't get respect because people are always like, oh, you're super like, YOLO, like, super my, random, but he knows boy, what he's doing. My boy shouldn't be in so many best things. He says, you know what? He says, do you want their respect or do you want to win? I'm no, like, I I'm hear like, you. you absolutely right. I want to win. No, that's, that's, you that's absolutely what Dylan right. said. He Let said, the haters be a motivator. Yeah, he said on the Facebook group for South Florida, hey, uh, I guess there are people that are concerned with playing solid. I'm concerned with winning. Yeah. <laughs> like, Dylan will wake up Larry at five times. He like, doesn't care. You know, like, on last year, uh, I fought against Zen now. I'll see you, all right? Yeah. They're going to beat white. Somebody fought Zen. They didn't even want to run it back. Zen, salty Zen. Like, 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 oh, BHK, dude, like, you ain't doing no Zen. Zen, I, like, I actually beat this man for money. Yeah. <laughs> Real talk. World champion. World champion. Dude, so so by extension, this is how it works in the FGC. If you beat someone, you're officially better than them. So you're better than the world champion. I'm not better than world champion. I'm just saying I had his number. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm, I'm, I don't even say I'm better than somebody. You see what I mean? I don't be like, I got a slow no, head. I'm just not better. Just I, I just hate when people say, oh, you're, you're bad, you're good. Yeah. You're, they got all this, and they'll try to put their friends and stuff above you. But in, yeah. in our scene, I'm the only Kim player I see. Oh my god. That was godlike. Godlike. But wow, I was about to say, Kita Senju is doing a really good job of conserving his meter for when he needs it. And the one time he used it, it was. Itabashi read it all the way. That was incredible. He neutral jumped. Wow. Yeah. Like, read heavy. Japanese yeah. reads. Dude, like, but like I said, it plays different than Snake Eyes, but in terms of skill, like, I don't think they're that far apart. He's more Russian. Yeah, Snake definitely. Guys. I feel like he plays like uh, I want to ask him if he plays Potemkin in Guilty Gear because I feel like that's one of those grapplers he, that he is gross in Guilty Gear. Yeah, but I feel like it, that's the kind of grappler mentality that he plays. Like, not so much a sit back grappler, but like I want to get in there, grappler. You know? Yeah. yeah. That was a good throw, though. Kidisenju is keeping him honest now. He, he's going back to the basic options, although he didn't upkick him or anti him there. But um, like it's cool because like. Like um one day I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, one day like if Street Fighter Five kicks in, I I really hope I'm I'm going I'm going hard. See look the first thing when I first played Street Fighter, I was just playing. I'm a, I'm a basketball player originally. People don't know this. Right? Basketball. Originally a basketball player. I, I was just playing games for fun. I wasn't even taking it seriously. Right. Like, I thought I was being serious. I was going to tournaments. No, dude, I wasn't even practicing like that. <laughs> yeah. So in AE, I decided to practice a little bit, and I ended up being one of the best people in the world. That's crazy, man. Oh. <laughs> Oh wait, what's what's the punish here? Oh, work. he missed. R rare footage of Japanese players not knowing their matchups, but it doesn't matter because uh, he got it anyway. Okay, so now it's one one. This is going by pretty slow, but I gotta say there's some crazy moments in these matches. But, but, so. Hey, watch out! Like if I beat somebody by oh, beast new mount, man, you gotta hear the stuff that goes down. Though. That's ridiculous. <laughs> but guess what? When every time I meet another top player, like Glitch says, yeah, you're pretty good. These coming from people that don't even know me. And they play my, they, 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 they judge me only based on my skills, not no personal stuff. Yeah, cool they dude. judge me based on my skills, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. But I feel like people down south can't do that. Yeah. No, no, we're, we're having to discuss, it's in the chat, we're talking. Oh, we're, chat. Getting, we're getting bodied by the chat. We're getting bodied by the chat. 
Chad doesn't like us. We, we gotta commentate the match. We gotta be esports, man. Esports? Esports, man? I'm, oh, this man, is I'm clearly, ready, though. Just fight around. This is clearly a very I, serious. Hey, I want a money match. Let's Dude, do these it. These guys have probably played each other multiple times. I'm just saying. Oh, like, this, right. this, this match, we already know. Everybody, like, honestly, if you're on the screen, if you do not know what's going on, then, like, honestly, you should just take Street Fighter Lessons. Real talk. Yeah. If, like, if, you don't, if you're a first timer, no disrespect. Like, how we can teach you the matchup inside and out. It's basically him keeping him out until he gets in and fighting rare footage. He's throwing buttons. Look at the square. That's the count. No, no, no. Shit, real talk. This is real. This is like high level stuff. Like they're playing in training mode. Training mode is kind of like a cheat code, like playing pussy. It teaches you how to play the game. Because you can count the squares of where the buttons are at, and you can throw the fireball, really and you can throw the normal though? at. You can throw the normal at the square button, and like they can run into it. And like it's gross because Japanese always playing it. That, that, they play. They play in training mode because that's the highest. Highest thing they can do. Everybody knows their ranges. Everybody knows their finest moves. All right. Like, and they they want to be challenged, so that's why they play in training mode a lot. They want you to know themselves. They want you to find ways around. They want to get better. That's why they always improving. Always yeah. improving. They exploit their weaknesses and get better from it. Yeah, I feel like the Japanese players are really good at understanding every single nuance of a matchup and every small situation that can occur. Like, so that was good conditioning there by Itabashi Zang. If you see the little twitch he did before the SPD. And, and the, the mental is good, right? Because like the, the whole the the, 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 the jumping that he's actually doing, you know, sometimes he's jumping and doing nothing sometimes. So oh, oh, Maurice, man, everyone's hating on me. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, I think they, they don't like your basketball commentary, man. I mean, that's Sorry. fine. I don't care. <laughs> People are gonna hate if you want basketball like combos, uh, play uh, Hakuto no Ken. Yeah, you know, you know. <laughs> hey, it's true, man. Ooh. Hey, I'm, I'm speaking that real life. Wait, truth, wait, wait. Uh, hold on, I gotta mention that. So, I'm wondering if that is a specific setup that Itabashi did. Uh, yeah. To to, to like, whip, make it whip. Yeah, exactly. And then he gets a punish regardless. But the way Itabashi's like his face right now, he looks like he did that on accident. So. I, I think he like, like, oh, I screwed up, but then it paid. It worked off. For yeah. Me. So yeah. sometimes you take those. I mean, that's all good. <laughs> Let's see here. Ooh, that was kind of risky. Yeah. Hey, it's the keto in the chat. Whoa! Hey, this nice. is nice. Hey, good the job. The stun. The stun. I mostly play with anime. Ooh! Oh, All right, good we're going. Job. Okay, so this is a uh, match point. Well, it's, it's potentially like, yeah, yeah, potentially match, match point. point for uh, Itabashi. Just does a little bit of breathing room. And this matchup's but. tough. I gotta throw this out here, man. This matchup is very tough to get. Um, it's six four. Yeah, I, I guess. Oh, I, I can no, definitely no. see why. It's but when he gets in, but when he gets in on a bad matchup, he bodies whoever yeah. he is. I think uh, DJ's upkicks are very underrated, not just in this matchup, but in general. They buffed them. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, it's very hard to cross them up unless you're specifically baiting it. Very I, good I, sound round. I also want to throw out, this is a DJ player who does not complain about his character. He actually, no, he no, his I, character, I, he, he said, thinks he really his good. character is good. Really good. And like, dude, for all DJ players, hey man, if y'all think that, like, man, he, he basically saying y'all must suck. Yeah. Real talk is like, nice this player, just, look, look how he plays DJ though. Look, look, look how they calculate it. He don't put yeah, himself out there. Man. Yeah, he doesn't put himself at too many risks. He conditions people, yep. and when they when they when they get straight on one thing, he has an option for the next thing. It's like a layer, like reading the book down from beginning to end. Yeah, he always has something Ooh, like that. Yeah, I was about to say, I think that's punishable. By, uh, like, Ooh. wow, very interesting anti air there. Not sure if that was intentional, but if it was, good on them. Let's see, what's he gonna choose? Oh, he choose he tried to go in. Okay, so he's trying to bait something there. That's true. So, so I got a question. Are you gonna get this Capcom lane this year, sir? Capcom 500k, man. The 500k. Yeah, 500. That's why these guys like. That's why the whole Japan League like. Hey, we want to. I've actually cake. been playing a lot of Guilty Gear recently. Um, At least a lot of money, Matt. Build like a lot of five prizes at Evo. So I, I'm thinking about going to Evo, but they sold out of the main pass. Wow, very good. Really, very good stand round. They sold out of the main passes. Uh, they sold out of the main ballroom passes, so the only passes that are left are the $50 ones to see the, to watch the stream at the venue, which is, I think is kind of stupid. Oh, but, I, I'm sorry. Don't get me wrong. Like seriously, I, I think I think Chris Terrence is the best kid in the, in the country. I'm sorry, guys. Nice. That's nice true. Good punish. Undeniable. I'm not gonna reject that. I, got, I still got a long way to go. Like I'm not saying I'm good. I got a lot of work to do, and I'm ready for it. Let's see here. They they, they keep sending something to chat to me. Okay, everyone's going in on the side of these, even here at the venue. They're like, what are you Everybody's doing? Everybody's going in on Damn, dude. Ex no respect for Excited Beast. I can't talk to the screen chat. The stream monsters are relentless. Rest. Yes. All right. Yo, you oh, like the yo, we got you Cowboy like Bebop. Beast yo, best anime. <laughs> best anime. Cowboy Bebop. I respect yo, that. I'm getting wrecked in the chat. I'm sorry, guys. 
Oh, now he, we, hit the the chat, we hit the, the chat, chat not to hurt exciting Mr. Steelings. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, I love this nice. DJ thing is jump crazy. Jump forward roundhouse. So, so we've seen uh, K Kita Senju go to both jump forward fierce and jump forward roundhouse as an answer to uh, see, look, to go air to air. Also, remember That's what I said about the whole square thing? You see this? Yeah. You see the, the Ooh, action. Look at the two and a half medium kick. You see the three and a half, the three square distance. Bam! And see, that's what I'm talking about. I was calling it. I was trying to call it when he's it happened. Calling it, man. He's, I was trying to call it, but he you see the three the squares. Stuff. You see this three squares distance. Yeah. He knew if he do the lariat, if he do the lariat, if he does a lariat at one point, he knew he can do the hop things from that distance. Oh, or here. maybe he just guessed and he just did a silver <laughs> kick, and he was. But yeah, no. I, no, that, that was that reaction. Definitely, that was reaction. Yeah, I mean, that was definitely an anti lariat thing that he did. Yeah. He's like, oh, I walked away, got him to do it from this distance, and he popped nice. in. So, so, Kita Senchu punished both a focus backdash and a regular backdash right there. Yes. So, he's punishing, like, the tiniest little Ooh. movements of Itabashi. He's punishing a neutral air jump. Like, yeah. the Momochi had doing that against um, the, the Kazunaka when they tried to neutral jump. He'll jump in the air, he'll do a, a normal oh, kick. Oh, I respect yeah, the read. Street, yeah. Yeah, um,. Oh, nice punch. Good jump fierce. Oh, nice. Uh, again, anti air slide. This his spacing is immaculate. With Both of these guys, man. But yeah. His spacing is so ridiculous. That's, that's true. It's like they know what This is why this guy is ranked number four in the Japanese arcades. Oh, my God. Oh, really? Potential. Uh, oh, oh, great jump in. So, oh. I'm not sure how. This is going to scale a lot. Okay. He missed the jump back. He did the jump. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at the hitboxes on that. Capcom, That's please. Crazy. Capcom, what are you doing? <laughs> the, the feet were like yes. barely touching. Yes. That's all right. The light hey, robot. I, I love how he does the light one. Because like, he does one. Like, he does the, um, the video he, 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 he actually has not done gone to the light robot very much in this matchup. Mostly because mm -hmm. I feel like he probably doesn't want to be close up to him anyway. Yeah. So. Well, and that, as soon as I say that, but yeah. Um, oh, this is very dangerous. DJ has a lot of meter. He can afford to take some risks now. That's true. That's true. And you don't have to worry about uh, red focus and ultra for a while. Oh, okay. nice air to air. Again, with the air to airs. I, I guess Ooh. he feels like DJ. Ooh. Okay. Oh, he got it anyway. Yeah. He missed the first one. That was like a read on top of a read. Like, yeah. Right there. Punish? No punish. Oh, he jumped in between both fireballs. I like the block. Ooh. That, that was. That, did you see how crazy that was? Like, Kita Senju had, did not try to throw Itabashi the entire match, and he still teched. Uh, you said he's mixing up with the jumpy normal, nice. you know what I'm saying? Oh, baited. jeez. Ba -ba -ba Those jumpy normals, man. Dude. You see the jumping dive kick? <laughs> like the little dive drop kick. This <laughs> the ugh. drop kick. The drop kick. It was, it was, he, he did it really late, too. Keith can actually change his jump trajectory. A lot of people oh, don't know that. Oh, this is a game oh changer. My God. This is a game changer. Oh. Nice kept break. it safe. Oh, I respect it. And as soon as he kept it safe, he did a dash up SPD. But now, he, he knew oh. he had the life to take that risk. So and back to neutral. Oh. Very good jump in. Yeah. Like, like he can kind of take risks because he has a he can, he's getting with the life bar. Mm. Okay. Oh my goodness. This, this could One potentially be it right here. Oh my Peter god. Peter he's got to got to pull some godlike shit right now. Oh. Can he, he? It's still possible. Dun, 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 dun. I, I know the gal thing is overused. But can this, it's somewhat relevant here. He can chip him down until like he's gonna wait to his one bar and then gonna like bully him with the one bar. Like he now he's playing bully with the green hand now. Yeah, that's his best chance of winning. Ooh, nice. Oh! All right, all right. It's, he's so not out. He's he, he fighting for his life right now. Yeah, he doesn't really have enough health to take too much more chip. He's throwing the normals out because he can beat green hand on startup with his normal. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, ooh. Oh, my God. Oh. And Itabashi's in. Itabashi take it. Takes the tournament. Woo. Japan taking Atlanta's money. Japan taking everybody's money. Taking that New was, York's money. Taking freaking really everywhere good. in the South. That that it's was pretty really, sick. really, really, really gross. Yeah. Um, that match was really, really nice, though. I think so, yeah. Like, you know, we said it would be kind of lame, but there are actually some pretty crazy, pretty crazy high-level stuff thing going yeah, on. Yeah, I'm out of the chat. All right, I'm getting out of yeah, the chat. So, getting bodied by the chat. <laughs> so, so excited Beast got bodied, but uh, it's all right. He's he's coming back in the tournament and in real life. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, the chat. Yeah. All right, see you guys later. Sorry, sorry we weren't esports, but uh, I did my best. I'll be at the venue. Uh, I play on a hitbox. I'm pretty easy to find. Um,
Hey yeah. guys, uh, see you guys. Uh, thank you for tuning into.